Your leader one more time this time around. And your leader goes through turns three and four. He'll come off before Checkers wave. Tim Shields picks up another one here in the Grand Nationals. So Don Mars, the nine, will come home in the third spot. Good run for the 69 of Steve Dipp, and he'll come home second. And your heat feature winner tonight here at Mars Tree Service, not at the races at Lakeside Speedway, stopping into McCarthy. Auto Group winner circle, the 42 of Tim Shields. Folks at CMS tonight for donating those prizes as Tim Shields stands in the victory lane. Sam Steckline, Alan Miller, glad to have him here tonight at Lakeside Speedway. As we put the first of four features in the books, Tim Shields, your Grand National winner. Side by side off a of turn four, green waves. We are underway. Schuler. Shows the way down to turn one. Right behind him, the 21 of Clancy. Here comes Neiman on the high side. Neiman on the rail. He'll take the top spot as they go into turn three. Schuler, the 44, battling back on the inside. Neiman leads lap number one. Morgan Freewalt. Going around over in turn four. We'll stay green on the speedway. She keeps moving. Seventeen to Galvin brushes the back straightaway wall down the back straightaway. Battle for second on the speedway as Neiman leads him around for lap number two. Clancy on the inside, the 21. Schuler on the high side. Look out, problems on the front straightaway. Caution. Shane Ro Shane Patch. <laughs> Shane Patch, the 49. It looks like his night may be done. 17 of Dean Galvin down there. Galvin, a lot of damage to the 17. 926 of Morgan Freewalt. Green on the speedway, into one we go. Neiman will show the way back to the high line as he did early on. Clancy in the 21, jumps up there with him. Not able to get around the 44 of Schuler. Gene Claxton has the 42 up there. Claxton currently in that fifth spot. Fourth spot. He gets around the 15 of Ed Knoll. Coming around for lap number four, Luke Neiman testing the wall over in three and four. Your leader out front. Now Clancy, the 21, dives to the inside. Looking for a line to try to close the gap on the leader as they go down the back straightaway. And Morgan Freewalt takes the 926 into the infield. Five laps down, 181 of Luke Neiman. Your leader, the 21 of Clancy in the second spot. Then it's the 44 of Schuler. Battle shaping up for fourth on the speedway. Claxton, the 42, sits in that fourth spot. 15 of Ed Knoll right there behind him. And your leaders start to close in on lap traffic here just short of the halfway point. Jeff Jackson, the 81, out in front of your leaders. As here comes Clancy on the inside. The 21's found something down low as we come around. Neiman leads lap number seven, but Clancy, he's going to have lap traffic in front of him. 
Neiman, perfect pick play. He'll use lap traffic to keep the lead as they go down the back straightaway. They'll come around to lap number eight. Halfway here in our USRA B modified A main, and it's a battle up front. Neiman in the 181 on the high side. Clancy on the inside, the 21. Neiman, your leader on lap number nine. Clancy dive into the inside. The high line seems to be just a little better through one and two. But down at three and four, the low line, the preferred line. And Clancy has it down three and four. Neiman up by the wall. We'll come around to lap number 10. Five to go this time by. Clancy leads lap number 10 by a nose. And here comes Neiman back on the high side. Side by side down the back straightaway. Neiman edges of the way into the top spot as they go into turn three. But again, that bottom line working through three and four. Glancy leads lap 11, four laps to go here in our B mod, A main. And here comes Ed Knoll. Knoll has moved the 15 up into third. And your leaders once again come up on lap traffic. Lap number 12, lap traffic right in front of your leaders. Clancy sees the lap traffic in front of him, trying to plot a line. Here comes Neiman. Clancy with the lap traffic right there. And possible caution on the speedway. Caution. You got the two of Dustin Gilbert stopped on the inside of turn number four. And Clancy sets the pace. We'll try to finish this race right here. Three laps to go. Green, white, checkered. Off the turn four. Green skyward one more time. Clancy takes him down into turn one. On the inside, the 21. Off the two. Here comes Neiman on the high side. Nothing up there this time. Clancy out front. We'll get the white flag this time around. White flag waves. Clancy, one more time here in the 21. Luke Neiman battles with the 15 of Ed Knoll for second. Into turn three. Off at turn number four. Checkers are going to wave this time around. Chad Clancy looking to double up, and he picks up the win. Ed Knoll will come home second. Luke Neiman, the 181 third. So Luke Neiman, the 181 comes home third. The 15 of Ed Knoll will get second and put in, in the Vic, uh, McCarthy Auto Group winner's circle tonight. It'll be the 21 of Chad Clancy. McCarthy Auto Group, there he is in the McCarthy Auto Group winner's circle. Your USRA B modified winner, Chad Clancy. There he is, race fans. Big round of applause one more time for Jad Glancy. You're you. Steve Herrick, the 417 of Kevin Anderson, will set the pace here in our USRA Stock Car A main. We'll look for the green flag. And green waves off of turn number four. Anderson on the high side. Heater on the inside. He'll come up to battle Anderson. Anderson drives away off of turn two. John O'Neill jumps up there with him. O'Neill to the inside. He'll look to take the top spot away. Three wide off at turn number four for lap one. And Anderson will lead lap number one. O'Neill second. He'll dive down to the inside. Heater up to the top.
we come around for lap number two. Anderson continues to lead. He holds off the 15 of John O'Neill Jr. O'Neill Jr. right there with him in the number 15. And here comes Heater. Heater on a run in the 05. He'll join your leaders as they go into turn number three. Right there with him, the 08 of, or the 8 of Dean Hensler. Anderson bobbles. He gets up by the wall. New leader as they come off at turn number four. No. Anderson gets him at the line. O'Neill and Anderson right there. Anderson, the 417. O'Neill, the 15. Down the back straight away they go. Anderson once again goes high. O'Neill dives low. Here they go into turn number three. Off of four. We'll come around for lap number four. Great racing up front. O'Neill, your new leader as they go into turn one. John O'Neill Jr. working that low line. On the high side, it's Kevin Anderson. Anderson wants the lead back, and here comes Brett Heater. The 05 right there with him. And we come around, lap number five. O'Neill by a nose, throw a blanket over the top three. Kevin Anderson continues to work the high line along with Brett Heater. Off the two, side by side, down the back straightaway. Kevin Anderson will lead him into turn three. He pushes on the high side of O'Neill. Now O'Neill back to the inside, moves up a car lane off the bottom. And he'll lead lap number six. O'Neill moving the 15, a car laying up on the bottom all the way around the speedway. And Heater takes advantage of the bobble by the 417. Anderson holds him off as they go into turn three. Closing in on the halfway point. We'll come around on lap number seven. Chris Smith in the one off the pace. He'll pull to the pit area. As O'Neill continues to lead, the, the, the 05 of Heater up into second. Anderson battling with the 05. O'Neill will lead lap number eight. Good battle for second now. The 417 of Kevin Anderson. The 05 of Brett Heater. Out front, John O'Neill. John O'Neill out front, the 417 of Kevin Anderson. Right there on his rear bumper, Anderson finds something down low. O'Neill leads lap number 10, five to go. Here comes Heater on the high side. O'Neill with a little push over in turn two, Anderson. Not able to take advantage, but Anderson right there waiting for the big mistake. He'll take the lead if he can do it. O'Neill, smooth as usual, right there on the bottom. And now here comes Anderson to the inside. He'll take O'Neill's line away as they go down into turn one. Anderson back up front, went from the high line to the low line, and now O'Neill back up on the wheel. We've got a car spinning over in turn two. 105 of Clint Hedge going around, and that'll bring out the caution. Lap shootout coming at us. John O'Neill will bring him off turn number four to the green flag. Kevin Anderson had gotten around him right before the caution came out. Not completed a lap, so he'll go back to second. As we go into turn one, green waves. And here comes Heater. Heater trying to make that high line work. He'll pull alongside the 417 of Anderson. O'Neill takes him down into turn three. Off of turn number four, lap number 12. We've got three to go. Out front, John O'Neill Jr., but he's got company. The 417, Kevin Anderson right there. The, fifth, the 05 of Heater. Heater, a little momentum on the high side now. He'll go around Anderson for that second spot. When we come around, it'll be lap 13. We've got three to go. Two to go now this time by. 
and Heater finding something on that high line. Oh, hold on, Kevin Anderson. Look out. And caution in turn number one. 17 of Kevin McGinnis going around. The 105 of Clint Hedge. Nowhere to go. And Hedge on the losing end of that one. You see the 105 stopped over in turn number two. Three lap shootout. Green, white, checkered coming at us. Off the turn number four, green flag skyward. O'Neill down into turn one. He'll head to the bottom one more time. Anderson right there with him. Heater working the high line. Down the back straight away we go. Everybody gets through one and two. Let's see if we can do it in three and four. O'Neill on the inside. Anderson right there with him in the 417. Here comes Blake Peeler in the 40. Peeler on the move now as O'Neill takes the white flag. And your leader's down the back straight away for the final time. O'Neill off the turn two. He'll dive into turn three. Off of turn number four, we look for the checkered flag. And the checkered flag shows. Here comes O'Neill. He picks up the win. So your top three, the 417 of Candid Kevin Anderson comes home in that third spot. The 05 of Brett Heater will get second. And your feature winner tonight as he heads to the McCarthy Auto Group winner's circle, it'll be the driver of the 15, John O'Neill, Jr. John O'Neill. And while John O'Neill collects the hardware and takes the victory lane photos, once again, look at the scoreboard. That is your 50-50 winning number tonight, 7-1-2-2-1-5-9. If you have that number, bring it to the power store below the tower, please, and collect your 50-50 winnings. One deep breath, cinch the belts up, and we're looking for 20 laps of action coming at us. Off of turn number four, Green Skyward and Davis down to turn one, your leader. Carrick on the inside, right there with him. Logan Martin jumps up high. Martin with a good run off of two. He'll pull alongside Carrick as they go side by side into three. Carrick jumps out into that. Oh, good run for Carrick as he comes along. Davis, they come off of turn four. Davis leads lap number one. And now he dives to the inside. Carrick back to second. Terry Schultz in the 90. Logan Martin to 36. Schultz will take that third spot away as they go into turn three. Davis will lead lap number two out front. The 1K of Tim Carrick sits second. The 90 of Terry Schultz third. As your field starts to spread out now, Davis, a little distance between him and the one of Tim Carrick. Carrick runs second. The 90 of Schultz sits third. Battle on the speedway for fourth. 70 of Aaron Morant. Got the GRT Ford Power on the high side. He's battling with Logan Martin for fourth. Martin in the 36 on the inside. Morant on the high side in the 70. Now Terry Schultz moves to the inside of Tim Carrick. Schultz looking to take that second spot away. A little bobble there. Carrick will pull back around him in the 1K. Once again, Schultz in the 90. Carrick to 1K. Battling for that second spot as Davis puts distance on the field as we're working lap number five. Six this time around. Vanderbeek, a little further back in the field, making his way up through the field. 
Vanderbeek right behind the 36 of Logan Martin. Vanderbeek cracks the top five. He'll move around Logan Martin. Terry Schultz sits in that second spot in the one K of Tim Carrick. Good run for the 70 of Aaron Morant, and he's got company. Here comes the 33 of Zach Vanderbeek. Caution on the speedway. Over in turn number four. 32 of Darren Robinson bringing out the caution here on lap number seven. And here we go. Off the turn number four. Green skyward. Here we go. Davis will take him down to turn one. Right on his rear bumper, the 90 of Terry Schultz. Right there with him. Here comes Vanderbeek. Four wide off a of turn two. Vanderbeek stuck his nose up in there. Davis out front. He'll bring him around for lap number eight. Schultz sits in that second spot. The guy that picked up two features last weekend at CMS. And Schultz washes up. Here comes the Z-Man. Zach Vanderbeek on the move. He'll crack into the third spot. Vanderbeek working his way through the field. Eight laps down, we go lap number nine, this time by. Terry Schultz holds that second spot, but Vanderbeek up into the third position as Davis drives away into turn number three. Halfway point, you see flagman Terry Wadlin displaying the halfway. Davis out front at halfway. Terry Schultz sits second. Battle shaping up for third, the 70 of Morant, the 33 of Vanderbeek. And now Vanderbeek ducks to the inside. He'll look for the second spot. Schultz slams the door as they go into turn three. And now Schultz drifts up off of turn number three, four. Still able to hold on to the second spot as laps start to wind down. Nine to go. And a good battle from second through fourth. Davis driving away in the top spot. And now Nick Bittinger. Bittinger cracks the top five in the 3B. He gets around Tim Carrick. And Vanderbeek continues to work on the 90 of Schultz. Vanderbeek trying to wrestle that second spot away. 32 of Darren Robinson off the pace. Let's see if he can get out the back straight away. As Vanderbeek has cleared the 90. As we work lap 13, we'll come around to lap 14. Six to go this time around. Fifteen laps down, five to go. Out front, the 68 of Kerry Davis. Vanderbeek trying to give chase to the 33. Not making any ground up right now. Terry Schultz, the 90, sits in that second spot. He's got his hands full with the 70 of Aaron Morant. And Nick Binninger rounds out your top five as we've got four laps to go. Your leader will come off at turn number four. There'll be three laps to go this time by. 17 laps in the books, three to go. Davis out front. We'll get the two to go sign this time around. Davis out front, Vanderbeek second. Good battle for third. The 90 of Schultz, the 70 of Morant. Right there watching those two battle. The five, three of Nick Bittinger. He sits in that fifth spot. And 
And the white flag will wave off at turn number four for your leader. Gary Davis comes off at turn number four. One more lap here in tonight's A-Main. Davis sees the white flag. He knows one more time. Vanderbeek trying to close the gap. Not able to do it off at turn number two. And your leader. Off at turn number four. He'll see the checkered flag. And the finish. Gary Davis picks up the win. So your top five in tonight's USRA Modified A Main. Nick Bittinger, the three, comes home in the fifth spot. Terry Schultz, fourth in the 90. Aaron Morant, good run for the 70. He'll sit third. Zach Vanderbeek brings the KC Stores. Number 33, home in that second spot. And your winner tonight, the Van Chevrolet, number 68. That's Kerry Davis. Winner circle, Kerry Davis, your USRA modified A main winner. He'll stand there and collect the hardware tonight. So that'll wrap up tonight with Kerry Davis picking up your feature win tonight here in the USRA modified feature. Kerry Davis, your winner. And that'll conclude it. Don't forget, next Friday night right here, Big Ed Beckley will be jumping his Harley over the McCarthy Auto Group trucks along with all our great racing action in our USRI classes in the Grand Nationals. So congratulations to Team 68. Right here, our USRI modified A main winner. And on behalf of the Mars family and Lakeside Speedway staff, we'd like to wish everybody a safe trip home, and we'll see you here next Friday night.